Hi, welcome back to Bite-Sized Moments with AJ. In the interest of full transparency, before I get started on today's topic, I do want to address the fact that I fell off the radar last week. Um, it was a rough week, and I fell victim to what I warned you guys not to let happen, and that is this was the easiest thing to push while stuff got busy and I was putting out fires. Um, was it worth it? Probably not. Um, I lost momentum. Doing this one today has taken twice as much effort as doing the one last Monday did, and it's an easier topic and one that I've talked about a lot of times. However, we all misstep a bit. The important part is to get back up and move forward. So I just wanted to be honest about where I was, that I'm pushing through, I'm going to do it, but last week was rough. So here we are. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about how long does marketing really take? So one of the questions that I have been asked by almost every person I've coached with marketing, every client who's done marketing with us, is how long does marketing take? And the answer varies from you know company to company and uh, each you know client to client. It depends on a lot of things. For some clients, it's relatively easy, and we can have something up and going in about a month. Um, but those are rare. Usually, it's like one to two months of setup, and then we start running ads and doing things. And you're out, you know, to month three, possibly even four, even with paid marketing to get stuff going. Now, if you're doing marketing on your own, you can move that initial um, engagement up a little faster. So instead of it taking you a couple months to get things built up because you have the time to focus on things, you can move through and get things done, you know, in a couple of weeks. That might take us a month because there's less back and forth. So from there, um, really once we launch ads, it's going to take one to two weeks for those ads to really reach their full potential. So no matter where you're running ads, there's an algorithm involved in who those ads get shown to. You control a little bit of it with targeting, but there are ways on the back end that, you know, Facebook, Google, um, wherever you're running the ads, Pinterest, there's, there's an algorithm that it uses to when to show the ads. Their goal is to make money. And so depending on what your conversion metric is and how you're bidding on ads depends on how often you're going to be shown. And it takes a little while for the machines to learn uh, the best way to do that. So you might start ads and see them not getting a lot of traction for the first couple of days. But then all of a sudden, you know, day three or four hits and you're getting more views, but not a lot of clicks. Or sometimes they get it right at that point and it just takes off. Um, but really from the time you launch ads, I don't expect to see a response to ads in under a week. Um, that is just because of, like I said, that machine learning time and, you know, behavior, um, behavior of users. The other thing is, is even if you do start seeing results right away, you don't want to shut an ad down in less than a week um, because people's behavior on Monday is very different than their behavior on Wednesday versus Friday versus the weekend. So we all have patterns of behavior and they change during the week. Um, and so you want to collect a full week of data, preferably without a holiday or other special event in there um, to really make decisions from moving forward. From that initial week, you know, you can then do testing and things like that to try to get a better response. And in order to increase that response, it can take, you know, a couple more weeks to really hone in on exactly what you should be seeing. So then when it comes to email marketing, that is a much longer game. Um, your email marketing usually will take a couple months to take off. Uh, you the way typically it works is there's some sort of event where they sign up for your newsletter. And that can be that they are getting a download. It could be that they already made a purchase on your website. It could be any number of things to sign up for your newsletter or special offers or things like that. Now, if they had a good experience and they're on your newsletter because they purchased from you, 
your next special offer you know might work right away but other times there's going to be a purchase cycle there and so your email marketing um, may take a couple weeks or months to really take off and capture people's attention this is really also going to change by industry we have some industries where you know there's a very seasonal flow to it and so if we're starting an email campaign and it's an off season we can tell people that it'll take a little bit longer because people are more likely to purchase that item in the summer so to or near Christmas. Um, for others, you know, it's it's cyclical by the month. Um, but email marketing, from the time you launch it to it really becoming a, a well-oiled machine, is also going to be about three to six months. Um, because you have to figure out what your audience is really going to respond to, and the best way to do that is data. If you have that data going in, um, which not a lot of people do, because how are you going to have data on something you haven't done before? It's a little easier to kind of hone in on it. So if you can get best practices from anybody else in your industry about what they're seeing works, um, that is great. But there aren't a lot of industries that are willing to give that out to people that they would consider competitors. Um, so yeah, don't don't expect a great feedback on the, on the email marketing front for a few months. And then when it comes to content marketing, whether that's on social media or SEO, you're really looking at six months to a year before you see really great results. Um, those are reliant on algorithms that you can't throw more money at to make more effective. So on the ad side, whether you're running ads on Google or Facebook, you can up your bids, you can up your budgets. You can say like, I'm willing to spend $10 a click um, if it means getting business and they'll adjust accordingly on the SEO and organic side, that's not so much the case. It's a matter of whether your content is resonating with people. So on the organic side, you know, the algorithms are still looking to make those companies money. And for Google, that means that they are coming back to their search engine or they're getting YouTube premium or watching the ads on YouTube. For um, Facebook, it means you're spending more time on the platform, that that content is keeping you on their platform so they can show you more ads. In both cases, they want content that is going to be useful to a user and keep them coming back to that platform. So in Google's case, it's the best answer for their question. So, you know, if they Google a question in your industry, you come up, it's a solid answer. Their trust in Google increases as well as their trust in you. Whereas on Facebook, it's that they're, you're keeping them on Facebook. And so that's why social media tends to be more sensational um, with what they're posting and how they're posting it because they're keeping your, they're trying to keep your eyes, they're, they're trying to get shown. And so they want eyes on the content. So if you are sharing links on Facebook that are then taking people off of Facebook, sometimes that backfires a little bit. Um, but you can build up trust making really good posts that keep people on Facebook or, you know, a lot of times links open in a new tab on Facebook so that they're still on there in the background and they can come back. But the fact that they're looking for your content and will go back to Facebook to look there means that Facebook's more likely to show you in their algorithm. So that all takes time. You have to build up that trust with the algorithm and you have to prove to the algorithm that it's working in their favor to show people your content. So that one is why it takes closer to six months to a year because it's kind of a long game. With marketing, uh, the thing to keep in mind is if you're not throwing money at it, you're throwing time at it. And the costs of both are very high, especially right now where we're so oversaturated with messages and being bombarded. So really the message of this video is don't get discouraged if after a couple of weeks you're not seeing results. Um, you know, if you're doing paid marketing you should be seeing results between three and six months, um, but don't be surprised if you're not seeing anything before that three month mark. If you are, that's great. You didn't do anything wrong to see them there. It's just sometimes when you're doing things right and going at a pace that is um, sustainable, it's gonna take a little longer. And then on the organic side, like I said, it's gonna be closer to six months to a year. Um, all of this is variable by industry and market saturation for that industry and for that content. You know, there are times where on the SEO side, you hit, you strike while the iron's hot, so to speak, and you shoot to the top and it's, you know, a great win for you. And it can happen quickly, it's just not very often. So yeah, um, I hope you find that helpful. Uh, this week, just as a kind of looking forward, I'm gonna be spending some more time talking about Hero on a Mission. 
um, and some of the things that have really that's really helped me from that. So if you are more here for life and business hacks, then stay tuned, and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Bye.